Hey everybody! Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I gotta do this quick video on my grandma's garden because it's lovely and she's the OG gardener of the family. Um, it's about to rain so I'm like trying to get this in quick <laughs> before it does. Um, so without further ado, let me, I don't know how to turn my camera around because it's crazy. You'd think an Apple camera would like let you do these things but it's not so let me just turn us around okay, okay All grandma these plants are usually loaded with flowers this year they grew like crazy i got one little flower and they're usually <laughs> like this who knows why so, i don't know why that's a hydrangea it is my favorite flower yes. slash okay. bush there's another one it's not it doesn't have any here's another one it doesn't have one bloom <laughs> on it it's crazy. Here's another lilac. It had a little bitty couple things on it. This was a nutty year for things to bloom. They grew like crazy. Look how big they are. But they're giving us no flowers. This did. This is a pink, pink dogwood that was gorgeous. Lots of flowers. Is that the one where the... It comes late and then it gets the berries on it. See the berries? Oh, yeah. See the berry? Oh, they're pretty berries. Yeah, so when the blooms are done, that's really loaded up there with berries. I'm going to trim this this fall so that it's more rounded and then we can see the stuff. Mm -hmm. But aren't these berries cute? They are. They're like yeah. spotted even. Yeah. I, now, these types of dogwoods, do they get like the um, white bark that sheds? No, no. That's you're maybe thinking of a peel bark birch. Oh. That's what this is. A peel bark birch. And it just it's like paper. All summer long. Just oh, peel some more off. That's got to be fun to clean Isn't out of the crazy? yard, huh? Oh, well, <laughs> when Je Jeff cuts the grass. Jeff is my gone. dad, the other gardener. <laughs> it's gone. You know, when he cuts the grass. So Look let me that. ask you some questions, Graham. Birch color like a... <laughs> Like those little um, yeah. Indian canoes they used to oh, make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just the birch bark. Is and that looks like a lollipop, of. that little thing. Yeah. So um, how long have you been gardening? Uh, well, I started when I was probably 21 or 2. Because we lived in a four-family flat with my grandma. Mm -hmm. And she was the gardener. She worked all day, but her garden was so pretty in the back. In the back of her four family flat it was just gorgeous so that's where i started learning some uh -huh. and then we moved out to bridgeton in that first little house and i had plants all along the yeah. back of the house and of dogwood and different ones in the front yard okay and then we moved out here and i have stuff down the side of the house sorry too. you have an ant <laughs> I don't do bugs. Um, so then I was going to ask who taught you how to garden, my, but I guess... It was my grandma. It was... My grandma. So great grandma... Schrader. Schrader. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she worked... She was the head um, housekeeper for the Albert Pick Hotel downtown, St. Oh. Louis, when it was really big. Mm -hmm. And then um, then she retired, and it wasn't long. I don't, I don't think the Albert Pick's down there anymore. Somebody bought them out. Yeah. There's some other big conglomerate. Um, what is your favorite plant out here? Well, it's these because these are usually the hydrangea oh, bushes. Just now, flowers. Jenny told me that there's hydrangea trees and bushes. That might be. And these are what are these? These are corbels. Oh, and do those flower as well? Yeah, these will open up. If they can make it before the summer's over. Uh -huh. This must have been a goofy summer. The climate was strange, was for really sure. strange, but there's another bud there. So if it can make it yeah. before the season. Oh, over. there's one down underneath. There. Well, oh, I mean, it's dying guy. away, oh, but yeah. it was there. It was there. Nobody, it was nobody there. saw me. <laughs> um, do you have any tips and tricks that you can share with? No, I'll tell you what. Rapid Grow is wonderful make yourself up a big jug of rapid grow and if you want your stuff to grow just give it some all the time mm -hmm. rapid grow mm -hmm. rapid grow like it's just at home depot rapid or walmart grow. yeah anywhere you can get it 
Look, there's another one sneaking out from under that big bush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was telling us that these hosta plants oh, right here. Oh, huge ones. And I remember they them. They were this big with leaves, I'm sure, this <laughs> wide. Look what's left. Some little animal came in here <laughs> and chewed off the roots. Those little And you could just pick this big, beautiful hosta up off the ground and throw it in the trash. And what's your favorite plant for attracting, like, birds or hummingbirds or, you know, bees well, and the, butterflies? Well, those uh, butterfly bushes are good for butterflies. Mm -hmm. and they had the little blooms on them. And they're late when the butterflies come in, which they are now. The butterflies have been around because I've seen some of them. Um, they bloom kind of late, mm -hmm. and the butterflies are attracted to them. The pretty, what are those, monarchs? And, yeah. And what's the black ones? I have no idea. I, don't, I can't remember <laughs> their names, but it attracts them too. And so I have one of those in the back, and I have one on the end that I need to really cut down so mm -hmm. it's better next year. I just didn't get to stuff this year, that's all. Well, it's been a hectic year. Yeah, it's not been a good one. Well, Grandma, thank you so much for being in my video. I know yeah. it's... A little bit uh, daunting, considering we never video. <laughs> and that, so. <laughs> that plant out on the back uh, uh, deck likes full sun, and it just loves that spot with those pretty red flowers on it. Mm -hmm. The hummingbirds, I see hummingbirds every once in a while zipping in and out of those. I love hummingbirds. I do too. I do too. And I have a feeder back there, a new kind that they like. I saw mm -hmm. three of them fighting with each other. And yesterday. Dad said that, um, so I don't know if you all know, but there are hummingbird, f actual hummingbird feeders that you can put like nectar stuff inside of to feed the hummingbirds. Yes. However, there was a, an article out you that said that it's it. really, yeah, the dye is really bad. Yeah, just make for sure water. They don't. That color, the, the feeders got the color on it. Yeah. They can't even see that nectar inside. Okay. So, so you just, just do sure sugar water. water. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't put that in. Easy peasy. Not good. And I don't know if any of you all know, but our bee population is seriously dwindling. Yes. And the bees are really what stimulates our plants to grow and helps. And our fruits. Our, yeah, everything, fruit. especially locally. Like, if you want to see our city still beautiful and our greenways and everything that they've been working, the uh, St. Louis government has been working really hard on establishing, please, please, please do what you can to help out our bee population. So, so important. Don't kill them when you see them. Don't knock down their hives. You know, don't stick things in them when you see them. They're so important for um, our, our greenery around here. It's so important. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, especially Eckert's, you know, has the apples, the peaches, the big sunflower field, like without, without the bees, none of that's going to continue to grow and diversify as it grows. It needs that diversity in the pollen in order to grow, so... Alrighty guys, well thanks for watching the video. If you have any gardening questions, just put them down below. I'll shoot them out to my grandma and we'll try to get some answers for you. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye!